Hey there guys, and welcome to a brand new episode of the Chelsea Career Mode. We're back again, it's the FIFA 18 series. Drop a like if you're still enjoying the series, and let's get cracking on with today's episode. So last episode we finished off the pre-season tournament, we played the semi-final against Bayern Hill, which we drew and then won on the spot kit, and then we just demolished Barcelona really, it could have been more than three. Then we moved into August and we lost on penalties to Arsenal in the Community Shield, so just for what happened in real life. In today's episode I'm going to be playing this game in the Premier League kickoff, Burnley at home, and then Tottenham away at Wembley. Of course we lost the Burnley game in real life after having nine men, then we went ahead and beat Tottenham, so it doesn't really add up in the end, but what does add up is episode three today, my friends. We are going to do some advances. I need to sell some of my players, to be honest. Um, we've bought Alexandre, bought Ross Barkley. We've got a quite literally sick team. We just need to advance, get a bit of energy back. And yeah, hopefully we get some deals coming in. Got a transfer offer here for Kyle Scott, and he is one of those men that I am looking to sell, and I am going to go ahead and accept that offer. Please let it fall through. He did actually have a really good preseason for us, Scott. Again, I'm going to reject that offer from Barcelona for William, and a realistic offer that because they were actually interested in in real life. Um, but yeah, of course, Willian is never really going to go anywhere. I'm happy with him at Chelsea for now. Maybe next season we'll look to offload him, but I'm certainly content with the way Willian is still at the club. Please don't say they've broken down. Please let us just get rid of Scott for once. Why is our manager rating just going down? I don't understand, but we do not know if we've got rid of Scott or not. Um, they've actually rescheduled the date against Tottenham. Where have they put that? Oh my lord. They've put that right on our doorstep on a Thursday now because we've put a game away to Brighton, the Carabao Cup, in there. I don't really see the need for that. Let's put it on a Saturday and then put this one on Wednesday. But okay, um, this one's now on a Thursday then, so we're gonna have to think of our lineup carefully here. But I'm gonna dive into this game at home to Burnley. We need a great start for the Premier League, and yeah, let's dive into it. So my friends, this is the side we're gonna be using. We've got Courtois, Rudiger, David Luiz, and Cahill at the back. We've got Aspilicueta at right wing back. Yes, Alexandro making his full debut at left wing back. Fabregas and Kante, they were too good in pre-season to take out. And it's Burnley, I want to go a little bit attacking. Then we've got Willian and Barkley making his full debut on either wings. And Batshuayi keeps his spot up front, despite Morata's last minute heroics against Arsenal. We have got a strong bench. It has got good players on it. And uh, yeah, I am looking forward to using a few of them in today's episode. And yeah, we've got, we're using Youth Knights in this series. I'm happy with how it's going so far. What I'm also going to go ahead and do is put it up to world class for this game. Um, I had a comment suggesting to go up to world class to make the series a little more challenging. And I was thinking, you know, we drew to the likes of Bayern, but I'm still going to go in and do world class. I mean, even though we, we just lost to Arsenal penalty, so I was a little naive to do that. But we are going to go up to world class, certainly for this game anyway. We'll see how it goes for the Arsenal game. But that's going to be my lineup. Feel free to pause the video if you want to check it out in even more detail. We've got to be up. Uh, able to kickstart the Premier League off here with a bang boys. Come on Chels. Here we are my friend, it's the Premier League kickoff. This is going to be absolutely epic because I cannot show you guys Burnley's lineup because of the copyright thing that EA have got in the game at the moment. But world class, it's going to be difficult, but it was difficult in real life so I want this to be nice and realistic my friends. The Premier League is a tough league so we've got to be our best and we are going to beat Burnley today and they just shot from long range and maybe I shouldn't have put this on world class if they're going to be doing that. Here comes Alexandro. There's Ross Barkley, there's Michi Batshuayi, can we get it back to Ross Barkley here? Yes we can, the debutant, cruising in here for Chelsea, and there is Michi Batshuayi! Oh my god, what a save by Tom Heaton, should have been 1-0. Good work that by Conte, they've got a man down so everyone's being kept on side here. It's Willian, it's Michi Batshuayi, oh, they get it away, but Batshuayi's still onto it here. Here's N'Golo Conte, there's Willian, Willian, a great tackle again, Barkley, Willian, 1-0! Goal for Chelsea, they had a man down injured, which I do kind of feel bad for, but Willian opens up scoring on World Class 2, very happy with that, because it's been really tough so far, but Burnley would certainly be one of our easiest games of the season, and Willian, I don't know why he's sitting down, but I do feel bad for them, the other day, they had a man just lying in their own goal net, keeping everyone on the side, they had a few good tackles to recover it, but in the end, Willian, with a gorgeous finish, assist for Barkley to on his debut, 1-0 Chelsea. There's Fabregas. There's Barkley again here. I can spot Alexandra. And instead he's actually gone to Batshuayi, you know. Here is Michi Batshuayi. And there is Ross Barkley. And Fabregas! 2-0 Chelsea. Far too easy. Fabregas there, the man on the booking. Gets the goal. Brilliantly assisted by Ross Barkley. But in front of the Chelsea fans who have gone absolutely mental there. We get the lead. And again, it's Ross Barkley with the assist. We're carving Burnley open here. As we probably should be. But I'm really pleased with the way we've made developments here on World Class. Burnley have been good. But Barkley's been even better. And at half time, we are tuning up. Very pleased with that on world class. Certainly was not expecting to be going in tuning up. And yeah, really pleased. Let's get into the second half. Uh oh, Burnley in here. Oh, it's just wide. And with that, we are going to make our first change of the day here. And I think I'm going to be bringing Morata on for a straight swap for Batshuayi. 
I want to see what Morata can do. I'm actually going to be making a double change. I'm going to be bringing Ross Barkley off here for Charlie Musonga, and I want to bring Christensen on at the heart of defence for Gary Cahill. There's going to be a three subs I make today. Here is Musonga fresh off the bench. I can imagine little men will be able to catch him. Charlie Musonga back post for Willian. Oh, good save. Morata, can he win it? Oh, yes, he can. But it actually is offside. So unlucky there for Morata. I thought he'd scored his first goal in a Premier League shirt for Chelsea, but it is actually offside. I didn't look at the replay there, but I'm not quite sure about that one, but I'll just accept it. It's Cahill. There's Musonda again. He's going to be getting down this left-hand side, absolutely tearing through it. Still Charlie Musonda. Willian! Oh, he should have made it three. Morata might, you know, it's a very tight angle. Yeah, he's never going to score from there. Oh, no one back there for Chelsea and an absolutely epic goal by Burnley. 2-1 then. They don't deserve that, but they've just been hacking balls over the top in the last minutes, and Hendrik has scored, has scored one. I don't like that, the way we've just lost the clean sheet there, as if nothing's happened. Really cruising in this one, could have made it 3, instead it's 2-1, and it's a very dodgy result, when it's been a very simple game for us. I'm not very happy with that, if I'm going to be honest. Can we at least make it 3-1? With Morata. With Seth Fabregas here. He's going to pick up Morata again here. It's Alvaro Morata! Oh, he put it wide. How the fuck has he missed that? What is this game? And there it is, full time, we win the game 2-1. Not, not impressed at all, really not impressed. I mean, we absolutely dominated them. That's unbelievable the way they've got a goal out of that. It is not a nice result, 2-1 at home to Burnley, but it is what's happened. Certainly could have been 3 or 4-0, instead it's 2-1. Not pleased with the result, but really pleased with the performance. But to be able to defend like that in the last couple of minutes is just not good enough. Anyway, we get the victory, I'll take it, but I'm not impressed at all. We have training to do, I haven't actually shown you guys any training in a while, so you can see what everyone is on here. It's Musonda Christensen and Zuma, and I've had a lot better trainings than this in my other careers, you know. In this career mode, the training has been poor. But yeah, we've got an email here, a press conference. I am going to advance all the way up to the Spurs game here, though. In the hope, fingers crossed, that Carl Scott can be sold, and that also maybe they come in for a few other players. And of course they've been broken down. Are you kidding me? Grimsby haven't been able to pay that one either. Trevor Chaloba. Can he go? I'm guessing not. I'm going to accept it, but I doubt he's going to go either. It's a real issue that they need to patch. It's impossible to sell players on career mode, but yeah. Hey, well, is this one going to break down as well? Press conference? I don't think we're going to get the email back in time. No, we are. We're going to get a press conference, which no one cares about. But let's dive into this game against Tottenham. And yeah, I'll meet you boys in just a moment. And this is going to be the lineup we are going to be using for this Spurs game. So I've put. Courtois in goal, Aspilicueta, Christensen and Rudiger as a back three. That's probably going to be like a, a future back three. So I want to really test out against top opposition. Then we've got an absolute crunch midfield here of David Luiz, Kante and Bakayoko. I'd like to see many people get past that. Then we've got Moses on the on the right, Alonso on the left and Willian just in behind Morata, which leaves a few of these lads on the bench. We've got a very strong bench again. I've dropped Cahill all the way to the reserves. He didn't really do much last game, so I just decided to drop him. This is going to be tough, though. On world-class away to Tottenham, I think we could get pummeled. And especially after we only beat Burnley 2-1, I am a little bit scared. But, yeah. Can we pick up three points? Let's go and find out. I have no idea who that is warming up. I'm, I'm not entirely sure, actually. Who, who is that? I'm not really sure, but, yeah. That is the sort of opposition we're coming up against. That is Bakayoko here, set to make his debut. I think that might actually be better Arby, you know, potentially warming up there for Spurs. But don't quote me on that one. But there was Bakayoko warming up. He's going to be making his debut today. And I'm absolutely buzzing. Wembley, bring it on. Come on, Chelsea. Can we beat Spurs on world class? That would be epic. Oh, they're carving the open here. He's gone inside of Christensen. And it's off the post. It was better Arby there. Rudio couldn't get tight enough. And that is what the sort of issues we're going to be facing here with world class. So unlucky that for Spurs. It's Alonso. There is Willian. Here is Morata. Can he give the Spurs defenders a little bit of a nightmare here? There is Willian. Can he shoot? He can. And it's straight at your reach, though. They get it out. David Luiz. Kante, Bakayoko, doesn't really have a shot on him, so I find Moses instead. Victor Moses spins, can he pull him back? Morata, brilliant defending there by Vertonghen. Oh, ball in behind here, Eriksen's in on goal, can Rudy get across? Oh, they've hit the post again, and they've put it over. And unbelievably, we're not behind. Spurs all over us here. This was the issue with world class, but it's going to be tough, and that's it good. We want it to be a really tough series instead of just cruising 5-0 every game, so I'm happy, but it's going to be really tough. Oh, and here's Marcos Alonso, he's in. The hero of real life is in on goal here versus Lloris. And it's straight at Lloris. Charles is either end here. It's Willian. He spins. Sure, he's got the pace to get away from all of these guys. Instead, I'll try and find Moses. I won't get to him, though. Here is Willian. Morata! 1-0 Chelsea. How do you like them apples? Out Wembley. Alvaro Morata slams one across Lloris there. 
and that is what you like. Smash and grab. We have been good, but Tottenham have been probably even better. So even though I've got an incredibly defensive lineup here to try and stop them, it is us who take the lead. Very good goal there from Morata, and the whole team celebrates. Willian did do well to get on the end of that. That's what his pace can do, and that is why he's in the team. But when Morata got it there, what a shot. Oh, come on, Makioko, drive for us. Makioko. Oh, that's a great chance for Moses here. He might be able to make it 2-0. Victor Moses, one on one with Yurice. Moses! Off the post! Alonso's there! And they scramble it to safety, and Alonso's gone now with an injury there, which they haven't blown up on. What a chance for Chelsea, though. And at half-time, we are indeed 1-0 up, my friends. Definitely going to take that. Alonso is no longer injured, even though he did get injured a minute ago. Into the second half we go. More of the same, please. Here's Willian. Here's Morata. And he can inside and shoot from an unbelievable angle. Of course he can. Here's Alvaro Morata. One of the goals of the series for sure that will be. What a goal from an almost impossible angle. Morata is demolishing Wembley Stadium here. I've elected to start him in this one up front. And oh my lord, an absolutely gorgeous goal into the corner. 1-0 he made it in the first half. 2-0 in the second half. Yuri's no chance. Pick that one out. The French man. No way near it. Unbelievable goal for Morata. 2-0. There's David Luiz. Look at the room Alonso's in. Here's Willian. There's Morata. Can he perhaps get this one over to Alonso? Yes, he can. There's Alonso. There's Morata! Oh, unbelievable save from Yoris. That should have been another one for Alvaro. Right, I'm going to be making a change here. I'm going to be getting Willian off. And I'm going to be getting Pedro on. So he can do in there. Oh, look at the room over here for Moses. He might be able to cruise any hit the post in the first half. Can he make amends for it here? It's Victor Moses. It's Pedro. It's 3-0 Chelsea. Unbelievable counter-attack again. Spurs getting absolutely obliterated on the counter-attack. And what probably should have been 3-0 against Burnley. And I think 2-1 would have been fair here. They probably should have switched over the results here. But I don't mind. At Wembley, we know how bad Tottenham are. We're capitalising on that. They usually do create a lot of chances, though they usually miss them. That's exactly what's happened here. And we're capitalising here. 3-0. Well then, boys, my second change here. I'm indeed going to be bringing on Kurt Zuma, I think, for... And I apologise for the dog barking there downstairs. I think I'm going to be bringing him on for... Says Rasper de Quetta. Nah, actually. Not for Rasper de Quetta. I'm going to be bringing him on for... You know what, I'm not. I'm going to be bringing Batshuayi on for Morata here and see what Batshuayi can do in the last couple of exchanges. Well, the boys, there's three minutes remaining here, and I want to be able to seal this one out, so I'm going to be taking Bakayoko off here for Kurt Zuma. I'm sorry, look at the state of this defence. We've got Aspilicueta, Christmas, and Rudy, and then David Luiz and Zuma in midfield. I know how much Mourinho loved to use him in midfield, so I'm going to be trying that out. Oh my lord, there's just no way through. And there it is, 3-0 to Chelsea, an absolutely monstrous victory there. Those are all the fans that have travelled down to Wembley. Not the very long trip, but a trip well worth it in the end for those fans. We absolutely demolished them, really. They did do well. They hit the post a couple of times. A man in the match award to Morata, of course, with two goals. I think William got both the assists for the Morata goals. But, uh, yeah, I mean, absolutely unbelievable display from Morata. And another three points in the league. And, of course, just so we know that there's nothing that has changed in the career mode, the transfer talks are broken down. That seriously needs to be fixed. It is a real issue and an absolute pain in the neck. We're going to be advancing, I think, up to the Brighton game. There's no reason why we shouldn't be advancing up to the Brighton game here. And here we've got a bit of training to do, actually. That's the reason why we shouldn't be advancing all the way. I think we'll stop the episode here. Then we're going to do some training, see how much these guys go up by. Yeah, definitely going to be looking to improve those two centre-half defensive stats as we go on. Again, just not very good results. But Musonda is nearly a 79, so that is promising. And yeah, I will want to see just how far he does indeed progress. But that is where this episode is indeed going to have to come to an end. Two wins, two absolutely huge victories to kickstart the Premier League. The Premier League kickoff has been absolutely fantastic. Drop a like if you enjoyed it. Can we reach seven likes on this episode? That would be absolutely mental. And yeah, for now, peace out.